Hi, this is Peg from Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and today we're going to make a journal out of used toilet paper rolls, or toilet paper roll skeletons, that I like to call them. This one, I picked a calendar that I had of birds and did a complete pictorial of different birds for the 20 pages. But I would love to hear in the comments what you would use and choose to use this journal for. As you can see, we're starting with the toilet paper carcasses, if you will. And if you'll notice, they're all different sizes. So I chose 10 that were all the same size, different brands, different size rolls. Once I had 10 sized correctly, I folded them in half just by squishing them together with my hands and used a bone folder to really secure that crease. You can use just about anything, the end of your scissors, whatever you have on hand. Once I had completed that, what I chose to do was to pick up each individual toilet paper roll and just size it one to the other to make sure that I had them all equal in height as well as equal in width. And just utilizing one as the guide, I simply trimmed off the edge to make my booklet uniform. And now that we have them all sized to the same size, I will be coating them in a thin coat of gesso just to give us a foundation for the paint to adhere to. Now this gesso I make myself. It is a very simple formula and that link to that video will be down below in the notes. And I also, in addition to the gessoing the toilet paper rolls, I also had 10 cards that I had created or tags that I had created for the inside of the rolls that I gessoed at the same time. Now you can either create your tag or use playing cards because playing cards fit down nicely inside these toilet paper rolls. Now, the gesso that I make it has plaster of Paris in it, and that is a little gritty. So I always like to take a, a piece of sandpaper and just kind of finely sand off any of, of the little pieces. Now, as you can see, I've pulled out my jelly plate, and that is what I'm going to use to color the toilet paper rolls. I've chosen shades of blue, and I'm also going to insert some black into that color so you can kind of see how that that comes about but with with the colors that I am putting on the jelly plate I'm going to pull my um, brayer out and just kind of mix mix the colors together and then put my toilet paper roll on there and see what we come up with. I'm just using an extra sheet of paper to clean that brayer. Now this is a just a piece of wood that um, I found down in my husband's shop and I wrapped rubber bands around it and I'm going to stick that on the paint in order to give me a, a fine line detail when I put the toilet paper roll onto the jelly plate and it comes up with a with a pretty decent little design on there so I'm happy with that now I am going to be coming back and adding more detail to that so I'm not looking for complete coverage here because what you will see me do um, soon <laughs> is add just another design and another dimension to, to these rolls. Now 
Now I have a, a skewer, um, just a, a plain kitchen skewer, and I'm just scribbling um, just to create a little bit of design. I made sure to use the, the dull end or not the pointed end of the skewer. I didn't want to poke um, through my jelly plate. I don't know that it would have made a difference, but I chose to use that. Now I'm coming back for the second round, and I have taken that end of that skewer, and I've just done a tic-tac-toe type design in black, and I am not touching the whole toilet paper roll down to the jelly plate. I'm just kind of making sure that I'm getting it in different areas, up to the top left, bottom right, and so forth, and you can see that the design comes out pretty good with that black, and I like that contrast. I like that um, black with the blue. I'm very fond of that, and, and I think when, when you see what it does when you decoupage on top of that, it, it, you'll find that you like it too. And now I'm just creating the cards, the tags, to go inside each of the toilet paper rolls and I'm using that same color theme, that blue, and I will also go back on them with a, with a little black as well. And you can see my little tic-tac-toe pattern that I put in the black to, to go back over. So this is just kind of repetitive, but I, you know, I wanted you to see exactly, exactly what I was doing. Now I've also taken, when I'm going back on the cards, is I have a few bottle caps and I have chosen to just get the black ink on them and just do that half circle or circle design on some of the cards as well. You can see me do that here. So just adding some additional energy to the card, a little noise. And with these cards, I'm going to make each one of them journaling cards. So I will be um, cutting some coffee stain paper to put over the top of those. Now I had this calendar that was a desk calendar and it was actually from 2013 so I've been carrying that around for a while and each page was a different bird. So I've fussy cut the birds that I chose and I'm going to place them on this uh, background some you know halfway on halfway off just whatever looks pleasing when I get the image cut. So I'm cutting out 20 images because you have 10 toilet paper rolls. You need an image for the front and an image for the back. So 20 images in totality. And we will decoupage those with um, Mod, Mod Podge, which I also make myself. And there is a link to that Mod Podge recipe in the comments below or in the notes below as well. And it's very simple. I, you know, I can give the recipe to you in, in one sentence, two thirds glue or one cup glue, one third cup water. So one to three essentially. You know, I just glued down the image and um, then cut off the outside edge, you know, cut it flush to the sides, which I, you know, is pretty, pretty self-explanatory or pretty obvious. And I just added another, another coat, set that aside to dry. The 
words that I have chosen, you can see up to the right of my Mod Podge butter container are a bunch of words that have been torn from a book. And I had a book called um, Rediscovering Grace. And each chapter had, had some, some pretty interesting thoughts that made a, a really good representation on the front of the book with the birds. Now I'm just gluing one end because I am choosing to um, put this on a actual book type opening so it will open from from right to left if you will and I'm gluing the bottom of one side or I'm gluing one side together to hold that card in and I'm just clipping that with a binder clip to keep that secure so that uh, Fabri-Tec glue can take place and once I have them all glued together. The one step that you don't see is I took them to my Big Shot, Sissic Big Shot, and put them inside a texture folder and ran them through that to, to give each one of them texture. And now I've pulled them back in and I'm just hand tearing or ruler tearing uh, paper and I'm going to glue just a small bit of paper on each card to create a spot for a thought. Um, my thought is this would be a great grateful journal, you know, something that you're grateful for in the next 30 days or the next 20 days because it's, it's a, a 20, 20, 20 page book. And once that is all completed, I am going to make a um, guide to punch the holes so I can be uniform in the holes that I punch. I will pull out my um, hole puncher and put two holes on the side. Now I'm choosing to put two holes. I'm not binding it with two holes. I'm going to bind it with one ring clip. But I like to put the uh, sari silk on that bottom hole, I think it just gives it a lot more interest, gives it a little bling, if you will. So I'm just measuring one inch in and creating that guide. Measuring one inch in for each hole from the side, about a quarter of an inch from the top. I will pull in the crop dial and set that at the larger of the two hole punch settings and punch the hole in my guide. This will give me the capability to grab each book page that we have created and line it up and get those holes uniform throughout all 10 pieces. the first one complete and we'll continue and as you can see I'm going to show you page by page how this book turned out you can see that it has been bound through the top hole with just a silver clamp ring through each of the bottom holes I've pulled a piece of three inch sari silk and tied it off through each tag I have also placed a piece of sari silk so the completed book has the decoration of the sari at the bottom and at the top it is really makes a cute book and you'll also see that on that ring i've attached a charm and that has added just a little bit of interest to the front of the book again this is the back 
I hope you have enjoyed this. If so, will you please subscribe, like, and share my channel and add a comment below.